All right. Well, hello, everybody. This is Steve again. Uh, as part of our tips and tricks section, we wanted to introduce you to a wonderful program that we use here all the time. It's a program called Inkscape. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Inkscape is, it's an open source Vector graphics editor. Uh, it has all the same similar characteristics to Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw, with the exception it's open source, so it's free. All right. Well, without further ado, we're going to drag an image in here. You can drop and drag. Uh, you can go file, open, and pull it from whatever destination folder it's in. Uh, or you can also import your image. We just did the drop and drag. Now, what we do is we're looking at now pulling a vectorized image off of this JPEG, off of this raster image. You go to your path. You're going to trace your bitmap right here under path trace bitmap this box opens up now these are the primary two settings that I use and I generally always use brightness cutoff your brightness cutoff is an automatic setting and what it will do is depending upon the shade of the pixel it will determine whether it should become black or white the higher the threshold standing uh, setting I'm sorry uh, the darker the image will become the, the rendered finished image. Now we go a little bit higher than the the allotted one. I'll set it for 550. I'll put the threshold a little better than half. Now you can also set it for edge detection uh, and what it does is it will create a pathway based on the differences and the brightnesses of the pixels. Once again the higher you adjust the darkness uh, setting of the threshold the higher the rendered image will come out. Well, I keep it fully automatic, so for this example, we're going to use just the brightness cutoff. We're going to click OK, and we can see now that our mousse is, is outlined. It's done what it should do. I will close this box out. Now, I will just hover over my mousse, and I'm going to pull him down. Now, if we magnify this and we scale up, like we had talked about, you notice our original starting JPEG or raster image, it's distorted, it has steps. The pixelated image lacks the information to render us nice, clean, clear, clear crisp lines. Now, if we come down and we look, this is the image that we just rendered. This is a vectorized image. It has the, cr the clean crisp lines, no distortion. Well, we're going to delete this upper one. We just don't need it. Okay, We're going to take and we're going to save our moose. We're going to save him as a drawing. Okay. Well, we don't want to save him as an SVG. In here, a little about a third of the way down, encapsulated postscript. We're going to click on him. We're going to save him as that. And we're going to click OK here. Well, that pretty much sums up. Now, our next video, we're going to take you and we're going to show you what to do with this EPS image format and how to use it in your VCarve Pro. That was pretty simple. And what's even nice is this, this is a very powerful piece of software, in my opinion, and you really can't beat the price of it. Look for the link in the download, uh, where to go to get this, and uh, stay tuned. We've got more coming up. Thanks again. Bye-bye.